it feel like that from, from your standpoint? <clears throat> well, I mean, you know how we are. I mean, we're always searching for it to be a little bit better than, than it was. I mean, I felt like we left 14 points out there in the first half, you know, that were, seemed to me that would have been pretty easy to put 14 more up there. And then uh, <clears throat> once once we uh, hit a couple of big plays there in the third quarter, we you know, we turned the ball over and we three and outed, and, and they started to get a little bit of momentum, so we weren't real happy with that either. So uh, there's always stuff you can do better. From your perspective, what, what changes when you have Justin when you don't? Uh, just the security of your last read more than anything. I mean, uh, you know, just Brandon knowing he's there. Uh, you know, for me calling plays, it's easier because if those safe, safeties are filling hard, I mean, we can get it down the field. Uh, you know, so he, he's a he's a great player. I mean, he finishes he finishes things. Uh, third downs are easier. He attacks the ball. Uh, yeah, I thought he played really well. He's that, you know, he he obviously overcame some things last week. I thought the timing was a tick off. You know, I thought there was a few plays in the first half that he didn't make that he normally would have made. Uh, so we'll, we'll get him we'll get him squared away for next week. Can you talk about Brandon breaking that record. I know it's not about the records, but still. <clears throat> Well, we wanted him to pass Gundy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's high on our list. We, we, we had an argument on the sidelines. No, it, it, he's, you know, he played well. You know, he, he, was, uh, he gets better each week. He was, he was comfortable in the pocket. He was, he was extremely accurate for two weeks in a row. Uh, took care of the football. You know, just, just really played well. And, 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 you know, we knew he needed about four yards there, so we wanted to go ahead and get it for him. Coach said this is the most complete game since Tech. Do you agree with that? What went so well on offense all together? Well, I just I think the whole team played well. You know, when you're when you're uh, doing things well on special teams and you're stopping them on defense and you're you're uh, getting first downs, converting third downs, putting some points on the board. I mean, it spills over into the other areas as well. So, you know, when when, when uh you know when when, it, when all three phases are playing well, it makes it easier on us offensively to be able to call plays and and have confidence that they're going to work. So, total team game. What's flipped for Bo Bowling? Uh, playing time. You know, he, he uh, it took him a few weeks to get into it. You know, he wasn't here in the spring. So, uh, you know, he had to learn the offense in camp and he had to get into playing shape from taking a year off. And the uh, kid just is competitive and plays hard every day and practices well. Um, you know, maybe it was us not giving him as many reps as we needed to early. Just we gave him reps based on what we felt like he deserved based on practice, you know. So, uh, the more we've played him, the better he's got. The more rapport he's got with Brandon, you know, uh, the more he plays, the better it gets. So, kid's just competitive, tries hard, plays hard, gives it everything he's got. Was that a silver lining from last week, the fact that he got to do what he did and maybe gain confidence and that sort oh, yeah. of thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the more reps he takes with Brandon, the better it's going to be. You know, so he, he just really, really, really likes playing football. And so it's easier it's easy for him to go out there and get – a tremendous amount of effort based on the fact that he just loves the game. You guys struggled uh, at times last week to put the ball in the end zone you know, when you were on their half of the field. Obviously much better tonight. How much do you think uh, Blackman's impact had on that? Well, he's a great player, you know, so ha having the, you know, having him there makes it easier to call plays, there's no question, and then the end result typically looks better too, so uh, when, yeah, it, it makes it easier, and, and, and the security of him out there with Brandon, I think, makes a big difference still. Solidarity, you going for the no shave November as well? I, I, it's early morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. I don't like to get up before eight. And I had to today, so that was one. That was the one thing that got skipped. That and breakfast, so those Red Bulls kind of caught up to me there in the third quarter. I started shaking. Them. You guys head to Texas next week uh, in that front runner seat. Does it change anything for you guys? No, I mean it's it's you know this team's pretty good. I mean it starts with the with the head coach. I mean he's done a great job of of uh, you know talking about one game a week and only worrying about the next opponent and, and you know getting into a routine. So these these kids understand what's going to happen on Sunday. They understand you know, what Tuesdays are like, what Wednesdays are like, and, and just try to get better at the game plan, try to get a week better and, and get yourself in position, you know, to, to try to win the game on Saturday. So uh, the, the, the one game a week approach has been 